Hello, I'm Brent Ferris of the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video, I want to show you how you can go about getting uh, individual net sync variables to not interpolate when interpolation is on. So you can turn it on and off uh, per variable. So if we look at this network thing, it has this sync float uh, script on it. It has interpolation turned on here. So let's take a look at this. And we have a net sync over a number, which is just a float. And if I press spacebar, it just adds some arbitrary number to it. So we'll see it interpolate first and how we can turn it. All right, so I'm going to be the host over here and the client over here. So host and client. And I'm going to select the network thing and scroll down and look at the number. So since the host owns it, when I press spacebar, you'll see that the value gets interpolated from what it is to that value. So we don't want this to be interpolated, we want it to instantly change. I'll show you how we can set that up. So if we go over to our code, we will notice that uh, the NetSync actually has uh, more than one parameter for its constructor. It has a whole bunch of constructors. All we care about though is the NetSync dot interpolate. And I can say false on this. So I'm going to say netsync interpolate false over number. There's also a true option in there. So I'm going to put false over the number. I'm going to ju jump back here, build it, and we'll see it again. Okay, same setup. Host here, client here, select my network thing, go down here to number, press spacebar. So you'll notice that it no longer interpolates and it just instantly changes to that number. So that's how you can actually change the interpolate types over a netsync var. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know, and uh, see you next time.